obviously made for taller people. Who here likes to blow things up? Yeah! Awesome. This is a totally gratuitous shot just for everybody who likes to blow stuff up. I had the opportunity recently to hang out with a bunch of really, really smart people. A bunch of really smart engineers who helped basically build Silicon Valley. And they started telling stories and they started talking about all the stuff they blew up when they were kids. They started telling me the formula for nitrogen triiodide, which you can find on the internet, I highly suggest it. It's a great contact explosive, it gets people really started. And uh, so this started really getting me thinking about how kids learn. Obviously, we've got it figured out, you learn a little bit at school, but when you really start learning is when you start playing with stuff on your own and finding out what's really cool. Pearl is really cool for some people. Other people like chemistry sets. This was my, my cool thing when I was a kid. This is what a lot of the people I was talking to really loved. Notice there's real chemicals in there. Back in those days, you could actually go to the hardware store and get real chemicals. I love this one because back in the 60s and 50s, people thought it was a really cool idea to give kids gamma emitters and say, go have fun. <laughs> nowadays, nowadays we still have chemistry sets, but they kind of suck. They have a few chemicals in them. This one down here actually has a bunch of chemicals. It actually has real glassware. It also costs just two to 300 bucks on the internet. So you have to have a hardcore parents and hardcore kids if you're going to actually get people interested. This is what passes for a chemistry set nowadays. <laughs> this is not chemistry. This is not science. This is a recipe and you don't learn a thing. So, why do we do this with kids? Do we think they're too stupid to learn things? Because anybody who's ever met a four-year-old who's told you everything there is to know about dinosaurs knows that kids can figure stuff out. So why do we insist that they only learn things when adults tell them stuff? That's what, this is what happens when we figure that. Because instead of Calvin running around figuring stuff out, figuring out gravity, He's sitting at a desk, and this cartoon, there's a whole cartoon to it, it actually made me cry. I think we're afraid a lot of times that this is what's going to happen. So, the basic story behind this is don't be Beaker. Beaker didn't learn a thing. He was hilarious, he was a lot of fun, but Bunsen Honeydew didn't teach him anything. People do a lot of dangerous things, and the reason they can do it is because they have really cool equipment, and they're taught how. There are a lot of people in the world, that's right, skills. There, there are a lot of people in the world who actually get paid to blow stuff up. This is another cool thing that uh, the hardcore geeks, uh, old time gray beard guys, actually go like glazy with nostalgia when you show them this because this is how a lot of them really learned how to do science. And the cool thing about it is they actually taught how to do it. They said, hey, instead of sti sticking your nose in that test tube, waft it hey, there's an idea. Kids can actually learn stuff. So basically, we need to have better expectations for our kids, which is a lot different than saying, don't dumb stuff down. There's a, there's a difference in that. So basically, give kids stuff to blow things up. Let them have cool toys. Let them take stuff apart. Give them all sorts of stuff like this. And I have one note to say, if we don't start giving this stuff to girls, too, we have abs... If we, if we don't start giving this stuff to girls, too, and let them blow stuff up, we have absolutely no right to say, hey, I wonder why there aren't enough girls in engineering. Let people make small mistakes now. And this is for kids and grown-ups, because it's better to make small mistakes now when it is really easy to clean off the dining room wall and a couple Band-Aids rather than wait until later. Yoda was completely misunderstood when he said, do, what is it, do or do not, there is no try. That's great when you have to get your space, your, uh, ship, your ship out of the swamp and go save the galaxy, but it doesn't work. You know, Luke screwed a lot of stuff up. <clears throat> and let's face it, the explorers who found out where everything is in the world didn't know where they were going. They didn't go in a straight line. They didn't know exactly what they were going to do. They just went out and found it. And that's why we have this whole world that we know about now. Education doesn't just happen in school. It happens by screwing stuff up, blowing things up, and letting people find their passion by going out and messing stuff up. And that is how people are going to change the world. So 
if you need ideas on how to blow stuff up, the website down there has some ideas. Go blow stuff up.